It's been too long since we last had a Garage Angler episode. Well, here we are. See, I'm in my barn. Episode number two coming up right now. Yeah, see, I know that looks good, but we're going to make it look better. My man Dave Terry makes his own mining graphs, which I'm going to install here today. We're going to do that together. Uh, you can see it's pretty darn sweet. He puts the nitro in it. There are other versions as well. On this version, you see he's actually designed a fish. I've seen others with a rain, boat ranger decal on and so forth. Mine is actually special though, because I've actually had it signed by Mr. Steve Klein and Mr. Dave Terry himself. They're pretty proud ranger boat owners. Well, you know, we won't get into that kind of ruckus right now. You know, that, that, these guys are riffraff, basically, what it comes down to. So, so you gotta deal with what you got. Anyway, so we're gonna take this off, put this on it, and put this unit right on top. And it's gonna look pretty darn sweet. Now, the tools I need are not many. I need a couple of locking nuts on my quarter inch stainless steel screws phillips head i'm gonna need four stainless steel screws too these i should say are actually going to go through the pre-drilled holes here into the carpet while these are going to be used to connect this to the actual mount so i got a quarter ounce drill bit and then i got a one eighth inch drill bit to start my holes in my carpet. It's not going to be a long process. It's probably going to take about 30 minutes to give me much more efficient use of my graph. Let's get to work. First things first, I'm going to take off the actual graph. God, this is awesome. Nitro Z20, 2018 Nitro Z20 from Schnelka Marine in New Haven, Indiana. I love everything to do with it. The only thing I didn't like, really, is that this went on top of this really cool logo that says Z20. Well, we're going to fix all that now by putting this unit up here. And it is going to be a sweet deal. Now that I've got it measured out exactly the way I want it, I'm going to take a silver Sharpie and just make a little dot inside there. So I know exactly where to drill. Ready for the next step. Now that my holes are drilled, I'm gonna start putting the stainless steel screws and lock nuts into it. Now, now I just gotta tighten those up. All right, so that's on there, solid as can be. And that's gonna go in here, right? No, not exactly, because look what would happen to my rolling motor if I did that. So, tip for everybody, it's gonna put these on. I'm gonna deploy my trolling motor so that this is down, and then I can mount it there. So I got an eighth ounce drill bit right here. And what I'm gonna do is drill right into the holes into that fiberglass down there. I hate drilling into fiberglass, but it's a, necess it's a necessary evil right now. Ah, I hated it. Now I'm not going to move it. I want to put my screw in there right now. Now that I drilled my hole, I'm not going to move this anywhere because I've, if, uh, from previous experience, if I move anything around after I drill the hole, that carpet is going to make it very difficult to find. So I'm going to grab a screwdriver and put that drill, that screw in right now, before, before I mess, up, mess that up. Well, in this order, so I got this screw in. I don't have it completely tightened down yet. I'm going to wait until I got my other screws in. I'm going to caddy corner. I'm going to that X here. Next one. Now that what I call attractive. That is a nice mount for $75. If you're interested in getting one, I can hook you up with my man Dave Terry. Just give me an email at the address you see here, andrewbuss at rnbbasscircuit.com. The 75 bucks is gonna save you like 200 plus dollars than if you were to buy it from another business like Deckett. Hope, you, hope you're motivated. 
Make the most of your electronics starting right here at your trolling motor. Please subscribe to this channel. You got all sorts of cool stuff coming. This is your hunter of fish, Andy Buss, signing off. Go.